Hi everyone. What I'd like to talk about today is the use of edge ports in Axiom and how they get their ground. Now what do we mean by that? Well first of all here's a picture of Axiom showing the different types of ports that we can use. On the upper left here is the edge port, uh, in this case port 1. And I like to think of this port like a network analyzer port. It's like you're attaching the network analyzer to uh, number 1 there. And there's a couple things you can do with this port when you get the S parameters. First of all, you have to set the implicit or explicit port type grounding scheme. And that's what we're going to discuss in the rest of this video. The second thing you might want to do is calibrate the port and set the uh, de-embedding distance. That's what this arrow is, and that's going to be the subject of uh, another video. I should mention that Axiom does have another type of port called the internal port. You can see one right here. And in an internal port, what you do is you cut the line in two using a knife. And then it's, you take a red and a black probe tip and put them on each side of the port. The plus side would be where the red probe tip is. The other side would be its local ground reference. It's not really our subject today, uh, but I did want you to know that it does exist. So that said, let's get into edge ports. Let me show you how you define the grounding type of an edge port. What I'm going to do, first of all, is go up to the left side here to the circuit browser. Create a new EM structure, and we're going to use Axiom. And I'll just call this Project Edge. And I hit the Create button. And of course, we have a blank project. This is a very simple stack up with just one layer with air above it and a ground plane below it. And I'm going to start on EM layer 2, as you can see where the cursor is here on the right, with a perfect conductor. I go down to the bottom, select a rectangle and I draw. And I've just made a 50 by 10 mil line on top of the dielectric. As a matter of fact, if I hit the 3D picture, you can see it right here. And how do I get an edge port? All you do is you select your, your metal. You go and select uh, your edge port, which in this case is right here, if you see where my cursor is. The cursor turns to a P. I go to the side of the metal where I want the edge port, and I place the edge port. To get the grounding set up the way you want to, I double click on the edge port, and I want to focus on this field right here, explicit ground. And that can either be none, connect to lower, or connect to upper. And that's what we want to spend the rest of the video talking about, is those settings. What do we mean by ground on a port? Well, here is a uh, picture of our edge port, port 1. And the way to think of this port is we have attached a voltage source and a source impedance uh, to the port. And of course, current is going to flow into the circuit through port 1. Now, as you know, through Kirchhoff's current law, current can be uh, neither created nor destroyed and any current going into a node has to also be coming out of a node, which means this current is coming from somewhere. And where it's coming from is from the ground of the port. And that's what we want to get into, is where is that ground, and uh, how do you set that? I'm now going to go back to our simple structure that we drew before. And I'm going to select the port, and where you see explicit ground, I'm going to select connect to lower. What does that do? Well, I go over here to the EM project on my left edge. Add annotation. We're going to look at the mesh in 3D, and I go EM mesh F. Hit OK. And I look at the EM mesh. And what you can see when I do that is this. And the thing that is interesting here is from the port, it looks like there's this ribbon cable coming down to the bottom conductor, to the lower conductor. That is what an explicit port connection does. It literally is going to take the ground 
is the conductor below the port and the current is coming from that lower conductor. I should point out that Axiom is not in a box. The box you see here is, is simply a graphing artifact. Axiom could support a top conductor if you have one and in that case you are free to have an explicit connection to the uh, upper conductor and then the ground return would be along the upper uh, piece of metal above the port. I'm now going to go back to my project and I'm going to change the port type to none. Explicit ground none or the so-called implicit grounding scheme. And now, will you notice when we look at, again at our 3D, at our mesh, there is no ribbon cable. So in this case, the ground is implicitly defined. I'd like to finish up today by showing you a simple example which illustrates the difference between implicit and explicit uh, grounding types and ports. What I have here is a simple bend over a plate with two ports. Now what I'm going to do is show you the stack up for this. You would just go to the EM project enclosure. And in the dielectric layers, if you look here at the bottom, it says bottom boundary approximate open. There is no infinite ground plane in the stack up. The, the only ground plane is that metal plate which is sitting right here on top of layer 3. The conductor, the bend, is on the top of layer 2. And then the dielectric, because there's no uh, bottom ground, actually extends to infinity downward. Well, if we now go ahead and look at the 3D uh, mesh of this, and on top of it I have asked for an animation uh, to show the currents. And incidentally, this is just done by asking for a 3D uh, annotation, and you would ask for EM. You would ask for EM current, as you see right here. Well, if we look at this, if I zoom in under my port, you can clearly see the bonding strap that I mentioned. What the port is using behind the scenes. You can see the currents all converging to that and coming up through port 1. So clearly with this explicit ground to bottom, we are using this plate underneath uh, port 1 as our ground return. I'm going to now compare that with the uh, implicit uh, grounding scheme. And I have zoomed in here again on the first port. Notice there is no uh, grounding strap. And also notice that the currents on the plate do not converge underneath the port because there's nowhere to converge. So for this example, it would make the most sense to use an explicit ground. There are other examples where implicit ground makes more sense. Uh, we unfortunately don't have time to talk about them today, but they'll be appearing in future videos. Thanks a lot, and if you have any questions, please go to our website, awrcore.com or give us a call.